but what happens initially we discussed that this is going to be less v1 is going to be less than v3 because as time progresses it increases velocity increases due to acceleration due to gravity adds to the velocity and velocity keeps increasing that means v3 pushes more air and gets pushed back more so if we draw mg like this mg is always going to be the same because mass is not changing g is not changing but then the pushback force is going to be equivalent to v1 initially which is small then after some time it's going to be bigger and after some time it's going to be so big that it is equal to mg force the drag force pushback is going to be equal to the force mg at which point what happens does the object stop no it stops accelerating that means what is happening here is whatever velocity let's say at v3 the drag force is equal to drag force is equal to the force due to mg the up upward arrow and the downward arrow both balance out each other so but object has already been moving so what happens since the net force are balanced out object continues to be in the state of uniform motion because it's not acted upon by a net external force we are also familiar with this law so whatever velocity it has gained till this stage whatever v3 is it continues to move with v3 velocity so v3 is called the terminal velocity which means and why does it stop i mean still does acceleration due to gravity stop acting on the object no still there is a g pulling it acting on it downward why does it not increase which means what happens here is when it reaches the terminal velocity let's call vt v3 is nothing but vt g is continuing to act downward on it but then the drag force is so huge that it says the moment you start adding to this velocity the drag force says hey come on i am pushing you up in a huge way you cannot increase further the moment you increase further you are disturbing the my the medium so much that the drag force creates a very huge upward force so it says you cannot exceed this velocity if you go beyond this i am going to push you more than what you are pushing back pushing downwards so hence what happens it continues to maintain the same velocity so the downward and upward forces get balanced out this is what is terminal velocity